Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific, and today we're gonna to go over this Olympus BX61. So we're gonna show you some basic features, how to use it, some important things about the cables, where they go, and a couple of, just a couple of little things we're gonna talk about. So first off, Brandon's gonna come in, and um, we're gonna talk about the features on the microscope. So this keypad here, is probably going to be the most confusing thing for people and um, we're going to show you a few things so if you notice we have the um, we have the fluorescent light on here if you need to close the shutter it's that button right there and it's it's marked okay so R shutter so we did that reflected light shutter okay and then to move the filter cubes you have six cubes in this system you have these buttons so if you want to go to the um, left you hit this button if you, if you want to go to the right you hit this button all right they wanted four objectives on this system so we marked them they wanted a 10 a 20 a 40 and a 60. so the 10's in if you want to change to the 20 hit that button the 40 hit that button the 60. if you want to add objectives you can keep going and then you can label them all right and then we have um, the UCB here. This is the controller that controls all of the microscope and the fluorescent power supply. They wanted mercury light on this, so they wanted a really bright system. This mercury light source powers this box right here, which is the mercury system, is this one right here, the mercury lamp house, 12 volt, 100 watt mercury bulb. You have a collector lens, and this changes the position of the light once you align the bulb. These two screws help you align the bulb. And if you're having trouble with that, we can send you a video or we can send you some literature that'll help you do so. Um, once you get it aligned, you open the collector lens and spread the image. If you look right here, Brandon, at the fluorescent light, you can see well, it's not aligned. We spread the light. Look how, look how bright that thing is. All right, same, same old right-handed stage, your nose piece, your condensers down here. You have a three millimeter Allen wrench that you can disassemble most of the things. So to take the head off, it's a little slot groove right here. You can take the head off and on. If you're gonna unplug any of these cables or anything on the microscope, make sure this UCB system is off. Off and be safe and sorry, unplug it. Um, so we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna do some um, basic stuff. So we left the reflective light shutter open when we turned it off. You can see the fluorescent light still coming through. We're gonna cut that off too. When you cut these on and off, you wanna let them run for at least 15 minutes and cool for 15 minutes. More time, the better, but it's a minimum of 15 minutes. Um, all right, so to lower the condenser on this one, Rain, come over here. There's a screw right here. That lowers the condenser, this wrench, to center the condenser with color illumination, it's these two screws. So it's a little, it's the same process, but it's a little different. So what's nice about this is once it's set, unless somebody puts the wrench in there, it's not gonna change. You have the field diaphragm here that opens and closes. And then to adjust the focus, you have a motorized focus to go up and down right here and an automated fine focus. It works really nice. These um, have no, um, correlation to the electronics in the system. These are the neutral density filters. They're manual and the daylight blue filter, that's an open position so you can put whatever filter you want in there. All right, so the re another reason we cut this thing off is we wanna show you how to initiate and start the system. So whenever you start the system and you cut this thing on, the stage is gonna go down. You notice the stage is going down. Do not touch any buttons on this microscope until the stage comes back up. See how it just came back up? So once it comes back up, you can you know, bring it into focus with your focus buttons. You can do whatever. But if you start hitting any buttons before it does that initiation process, it's gonna be bad news. The thing's gonna throw an error code. These are gonna be red. That ERR will be red. And then you can't use the system. You gotta start from scratch. So cut it off, start over again, let the stage drop down, come back up. All right, another thing is over here on this side, you have the power button. This is for your bright field on the microscope. So if you notice the bright field light just came on. So if you want to use the scope for bright field, that's how you turn it on. And you, you can adjust the light 
right here. See the light can go up and down. If you want to switch to reflected light lamp house, if there was two halogen lamp houses, you would hit this button. So that, that's kind of the long and short of this microscope. And um, we're going to cut it off. I think we've went over everything. If you want to show, if you want to send light to the camera, you pull this rod here. But um, we're going to show you kind of where the cables go and um, how to assemble it. So let's cut it back off. Make sure it's unplugged as we spoke about earlier. The unplugging right here. All right. So you have the lamp house cord goes here. It's a twist and pull. There's a little notch that goes on that pin to plug it back in. All right. This is your main power cord that runs the microscope and they're labeled. So Olympus did a really good job at labeling them. They have, um, see how it has that label BX61, BX62. And then that's for the main uh, power. It goes, this cord goes here. All right. This is for the reflected light illuminator. You'll notice how it says RFAAR. We have it labeled there and it's labeled on the inside on the actual UCB. So that clicks in. You'll hear it click. So if, it, if you don't hear it click, um, you could have issues. So make sure it's pushed in. And to take it out, you want to match these two buttons, depress those two buttons right there. Um, this one goes from here to spin it around. It's easier for Brandon. Right here is where the, this one's going to connect. And um, let's see here. Your mercury light source gets plugged in here. So that's a twist connector. If you notice that thicker prong right there, notch goes to the top. So you kind of got to align it and then you screw this in and it'll push in. So that that's basically it. Whenever you put it, take it apart and put it back together. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at info at mondaymicroscope.com. This was a quick little tutorial. There's one more thing that I, that I mentioned. Whenever you want to change the filter cubes, make sure the thing's off. Three millimeter Allen wrench. It must be off. And then it pulls out. This is motorized and automated. So to change the filter cubes, you loosen those, pull that out. This customer got eight filter cubes. This was loaded with six. But, um, if they want to change them, that's how they would do it. Notice you can't get to these backside, this backside. Don't force this. Get these out, put it back in, turn it back on, rotate it to the other side, and then take them out. Do not force it. So we're going to put that thing back in. And um, now that's all back together. We'll just cut it back on while we're talking. But um, info at mondaymicroscope.com, M-U-N-D-A-Y, if you have any questions. If you want to buy this or any of the parts that we have, microscopemarketplace.com is our e-commerce platform. And uh, if this video brought you value, please like and subscribe. Thanks.